brand, the Middle East is one of the very important uh, regions for us in, uh, in Europe, Middle East and Africa region. It's actually our number one region for the Jeep Grand Cherokee and then also again for, uh, for the Jeep Wrangler. In fact, in uh, September, we had a record month in the history of Jeep in the Middle East. So the Jeep Renegade, we're just getting ready to launch it. Um, this is kind of the debut, the coming out party, and uh, we have really high hopes for it. Um, as of right now in Europe, it makes up over 60% of our sales of the Jeep brand. So we're hoping to duplicate that success here in, uh, in the Middle East. The Renegade customer is really um, someone that's young, outgoing, outdoorsy, has a really lifestyle. It's also an entrance into the into the Jeep brand. Whereas Cherokee is more of an established person as well. But both vehicles are Jeep vehicles and they're both capable and uh, have that go, go anywhere, do anywhere, anything performance. We do a lot of extreme testing as well. We've got our labs and we do uh, everything from the cold weather, extreme cold weather up in the Arctic Circle to we test our vehicles out in Death Valley and then also uh, we're starting to test our vehicles out here as well in the Middle East. So we've got the yellow four-door Wrangler, which is, uh, we're calling it the Sunrunner, which is a, an evolution of uh, a vehicle that we showed in the Frankfurt Auto Show, um, which was the, uh, the Sunriser. Uh, and then we've also got a short wheelbase called the Dark Side. And then we've also got a special, uh, really one-off show car, and that's called the, uh, the Jeep Crawler, uh, Cherokee Crawler. And really that one is a, uh, a Cherokee uh, Trailhawk, and it's got special uh, fender flares and, uh, and other a lift kit and other interior pieces as well. We're really excited to be launching the, uh, the Renegade, and we, we hope it fits a niche that we weren't playing in before, and uh, we hope that it's uh, a gateway to the Jeep brand for maybe some people that didn't have a chance or an opportunity to, uh, to buy into the Jeep brand earlier in the life cycle.